Everything you eat and drink is broken down in your digestive system. After the nutrients from food and drink are absorbed into the body, the digestive system breaks down and removes wastes and toxins. Urination is one way your body removes these toxins. This is done through the urinary tract system. In this video, you will learn about the urinary tract system and how it may behave differently after your spinal cord injury. Have a look at the urinary tract system. It is made up of the kidneys, ureters, bladder, and urethra. The kidneys are two bean-shaped organs located in your lower back, one on the left and one on the right. The kidneys can be thought of as blood scrubbers. Their primary role is to filter and clean your blood by removing waste. Kidneys also control the amount of water and chemicals in your body. This blood filtering process is what produces urine and is essential to filtering our blood in order to live. The ureters are two small tubes that connect each of our kidneys to our bladder. The bladder is located in the pelvis and made up of muscles. Its role is to collect and empty urine. There is a one-way valve within the ureters that helps prevent urine from flowing back up into the kidneys. When the bladder collects enough urine, it sends a message to the brain, telling it that you need to urinate or empty your bladder. When you are ready to empty your bladder, the urine exits the body through an opening called the urethra. The urethra is controlled by muscles that work with the bladder to prevent urine from leaking. When it is time to urinate, the brain sends a message to the bladder for these muscles to relax and allow urine to pass. A spinal cord injury can change how this system is able to work. The signals that go back and forth between the brain and the body may be disrupted. Your body may not know when your bladder is full or may not be able to control the muscles that are needed to empty the urine. If a bladder does not empty, it can back up through the ureters to the kidneys. This can cause damage or can cause your kidneys to stop working altogether. Your spinal cord injury may cause changes in your bladder's ability to work properly. These changes may be long-term or only short-term. Knowing how the urinary tract system works is important. It will help you understand why you need to care for your bladder and kidneys. This will help you and your healthcare team decide the best option for you and your urinary tract system.